It is with great joy and pride to introduce a very special Willow graduate of the class of 2013, Leah Perry. Leah's Willow tale is unique. She holds the distinction of being the first alumna to have experienced life at Willow as both a student and as an adult. Leah joined Willow as a sixth grader and she was quickly enveloped into the fabric of her existing class. She soon discovered that Willow was not a typical middle school. Instead of being in a school environment fraught with awkward social experiences or hand-wringing stress, Leah immediately was taken under the wings of her peers and felt an exceptionally strong connection. In fact, Leah's Willow peers are still great friends and connected to Willow after all of these years. You may have seen these alumni from the class of two of 2013 at this year's Green Gala. After graduating from Willow, Leah attended West Morris Central High School and then received her undergraduate degree from Sarah Lawrence College, where she studied writing and was part of the cross-country team and the theater group. And lucky for us, Leah returned to Willow as this year's kindergarten assistant teacher and extended day teacher, making her the first alumna who has been able to experience Willow as a student and now as a faculty member. Thus, her Willow perspective as a student turned teacher is truly unique. She has told me that when she was in sixth grade, she had no idea how much time and effort the teachers put into their students' experience at Willow. The collaboration among the faculty, the effort required behind the scenes, and the level of deep caring demonstrated by the faculty. And she is in awe. With this adult perspective, she appreciates the seriousness of her role as teacher, as someone who has the paramount responsibility of influencing her students' emotional and academic growth for the good. And Leah, you have taken this responsibility to heart. Your students and peers adore you and appreciate all of your efforts this year. Willow is proud of your accomplishments and role in supporting our students, and it is our privilege to have you here with us this afternoon. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Megan, for that very kind introduction. I'm very honored to get to speak to our graduating eighth graders today. You've all reached an important milestone. And though your journey as a Willow student is ending, the time you've spent here will affect the paths you take for the rest of your lives. Though today you are leaving Willow, Willow will not leave you. The things you've learned, the friendships you've made, and the virtues you've practiced will always stay with you. I graduated from Willow nine years ago, which feels strange to say, because even though it had been years since I'd been on campus before I started working here in September, I've never felt that distant from Willow. As Megan mentioned, my best friends from middle school are still my best friends now, and we talk about this place all the time, probably too much, to be honest. But we have a lot to say about this school and how it affected us. Oftentimes, we'll end up talking about how we viewed ourselves within the context of the Willow community. And though we all admit to having felt different or weird or out of the loop from time to time, none of us ever felt like we didn't belong at Willow. The culture of kindness and acceptance here cushioned the blow of adolescence. And the farther I get from my days as a Willow student, the more grateful I am to have had that. So, soon to be former eighth graders, I advise you to be grateful for just how good you've had it, because high school is about to be a lot different. <laughs> but just because it's different doesn't mean it's bad. Difficult, yes. Stressful, you bet. But you can ease the growing pains 
by taking what Willow has taught you and finding new ways to use it. At Willow, you've learned about the virtues and how to live by them, how to be kind to others and to the world around us. As you go through high school, explore what it means to apply that same kindness to yourselves. Having compassion for yourself, for instance, will help you immensely, especially when you make mistakes. And you will make mistakes. You're going to make the wrong choice or say the wrong thing. It's inevitable. Sometimes your mistakes are going to be completely out of your control. Things are going to go wrong even when you have every intention of making them go right. But I promise you, it is okay. It is okay to make those mistakes. Beating yourself up over them will never, never solve the problem. Believe me, I've tried that method and it doesn't work. Even when it seems like you should have known better, sometimes in the moment you just don't. And having compassion for yourself means forgiving yourself for those moments without making excuses for them. Having compassion for yourself will allow you to learn from your mistakes and to grow from them. I know I already mentioned gratitude, but it bears repeating. Take the time to be grateful for everything this school has given you. Great friends, a moral compass, a connection to the natural world, a love of learning, and so much more. As you begin your journeys beyond Willow, you'll discover how rare it is to have all these things in one place and how valuable. Willow is with you everywhere you go from now on. The virtues, the knowledge, the culture of the school is something that has shaped you and will continue to shape you as you move on from this era of your lives to the next. And how lucky you are to get to bring all of that with you. And if you get even luckier, like I did, you may even get the chance to return here and give back a small part of what Willow has given to you. Congratulations, class of 2022.